Hey guys, today we are in Audi A7 with MMI MIP2 based system and we are going to update this firmware with a custom firmware with all-in-one update which should take us to the highest uh, version possible and activate some cool stuff at the same time. So what we are going to do, first of all you need to turn on your MMI system and check which system you actually have. I'm going to press the menu button over here and right now I'm going to select Setup MMI, scroll down to, um, to the last position, which is version information. And we can see that this is running the software uh, starting with MHI2. So this is MIP2 based system high. Uh, this is good. And we have uh, car specific information over here. European uh, region, we have uh, Audi specific firmware and the firmware version, which is pretty low over here, but this shouldn't be a problem to bring us all the way up to the latest one. Okay, so the firmware that I'm going to use, the update uh, that I'm going to use is good for um, for this as well for as well as for MHI2 um, ERAU57X. Um, so both of those uh, software trains should be uh, should be um, uh, accepted, should be okay for this firmware uh, update. Okay, so what's next? Next, we need to restore the unit to factory settings before performing the update. So again, I'm going to set up MMI, I'm scrolling to uh, factory settings option, and I'm going to select all entries, scroll at the end of the list, and there's reset factory settings option, which I'm going to select confirm and right now the system is uh, reset to factory settings we need to wait a couple uh, couple seconds i believe before all those uh, um, all those options are available so let's give it some time and after that we are going to pop in the sd card so maybe let's uh, talk about the SD card over here. Uh, this is an all-in-one custom firmware update. Uh, as I said, the link is in the description below this video. And um, we are going just to, to put it in the uh, SD1 port and start the update. Hopefully this will just do everything that we need and there's no diagnostic tools involved and so on. Okay, I can see that all options over here are available. Before we start it, let me just uh, uh, tell you that I'm with the I have the engine running over here just to be sure that the battery will not go flat. I'm not sure how long this update will going to take, but uh, is going to take, but we are going to check that out. And also I have the keyless key uh, taped over here to the uh, receiver because I want the key to stay in the vehicle at all times. And in cars with keyless system, if you leave the car and the ignition is on you can um, it can turn off the ignition during the update so this is just a safety feature but still i'm going to do this the key will be in the vehicle um, during the whole procedure okay so maybe let's start sd card over here it was a fat 32 formatted 16 gigs of capacity and i've just downloaded the package linked in the description below and um, unzipped it and copied content to the SD card and right now I'm going to enter the red menu with back and top left button at the same time after a few seconds we should be in the red engineering menu okay and right now I'm going to select update SD1 and it's uh, checking out what's on the card right now and it will take a few seconds we can already see that the new firmware is called like this. We want to select standard. And over here we see which modules will be updated and which not. The amplifier, boss amplifier with not, will not be updated because this would cause some trouble. You can update it with a slight modification of the SD card content if you have the uh, proper tools to uh, parameterize, parameterize the um, amplifier, amplifier afterwards. Okay, so the last option over here is start update. So let's select it. And we have this information that the update must not be interrupted. So let's press start. And right now, all we need to do is wait, I believe.
Okay, so it took 33 minutes uh, to completely update this firmware and we can right now scroll down, check if everything was okay. And at the end of the list, there's a continue button. So let's press it and let's uh, press cancel version compare. The unit should reboot one more final time. During the update, it took four or five reboots. And uh, sometimes uh, the screen is completely black for a long time. Sometimes there's a, there's an Audi logo um, uh, stuck on the screen, but you have to be patient. It will take some time. Some time. In my case, it took 33 and 34 minutes and counting right now. The screen retracted and right now we are waiting i'm not sure if i should wait or if i should just press the uh, press the button right now no just be patient and keep waiting we have audi logo on the display one more time the control panel lights up we have audio so let's bring it down and i believe i believe that's it so right now we can check what's new let's press menu button and we should have some new options like audi smartphone interface so maybe let's check if the if the update took us to the highest possible version of the firmware uh, right now we are still waiting for all the options to be available oh, right now the setup mmi is available so let's go over there scroll down to uh, version information and we can see that we are at K3663, which is cool. Okay, and uh, maybe let's uh, take a lightning cable for an iPhone and let's check if CarPlay works over here. So the USB port for smartphone connection is over here. My phone is unlocked and over here. Let's plug it in. And we have this information. Do you want to use CarPlay? select yes yes and allow <laughs> and here it is we have carplay over here let's check uh, of course this is not a touch screen so you need to control it with the control knob over here but let's check if the trackpad works as well yeah you can use the trackpad so that's cool you can swipe over here Let's check how's the audio playback. Okay, so it worked. Uh, in the description below this video, you will find some more information about this uh, procedure. Uh, huge uh, thank you to the developers of this uh, firmware. And um, that's it. Give me a thumbs up if you like this tutorial and subscribe to future ones. See you soon.